Apple just dropped their Vision Pro and the hype is real. Oculus has pioneered the VR industry and Meta has set the stage for the VR innovation. But why all these? Hello, my name is Mindy. I'm an aspiring VR designer, photographer, and passionate teacher. You might think the VR technology is a totally new concept, but in fact, it started a long time ago. Just as humanity achieved remarkable advancements in science and technology today, numerous steps have been taken along the way to bring us to this point and propel us toward the future developments. And for VR, that first experiment was the Sensorama, which was a machine that was one of the earliest known examples of multi-sensory and immersive technology in 1962. Yes, you heard it right, 1962. <laughs> and through legendary sci-fi films like Star Trek and Star Wars, the potential of what VR and AR could be was widely introduced to the public. And AR officially became a term in the early 90s, and it firstly got adopted and used by NASA and NFL games. By the way, did you guys watch the Super Bowl this time? I'm not a huge sports fan in general, but oh, it was pretty, pretty fun entertainment for me. Anyway, after a few more advancements, Oculus was finally launched in 2012. And almost every year since then, there have been new products and inventions coming out. I will show you some cool real life examples and use cases of this technology later in this video. If you want to see those examples right away, feel free to skip ahead to here, but it might be helpful for you to understand the basic concepts first before we dive into the examples. That way you'll be able to grasp them better. Okay, before moving forward, here's some compact summary of the definition of three concepts. Virtual reality, augmented reality, and mixed reality. Virtual reality means you're fully immersed into specific experiences requiring a specifically designed gear on your head. This means you cannot see the physical space around you. Augmented reality, on the other hand, you're perfectly aware of your surroundings because it's an additional layer of digital elements in the physical world. Mixed reality is basically an advanced use case of augmented reality. The only difference is that MR involves spatial computing, make things more advanced understanding of the physical world. Although VR tech has improved dramatically over the time, but there's still an underlying problem with the consumer VR experience. Let's admit it, it's uncomfortable. <laughs> it's still uncomfortable, unfortunately. And no one wants to have a bulky, heavy headset on their face all the time. Plus, motion sickness has been an ongoing problem that needs to be solved for hardware designing. Now, that is why a lot of people are anticipating the rise of AR technology, which may even become more popular than VR unless VR headsets become lighter and more compact, more portable. As a consequence, the popularity and significance of mobile AR will rise just because of its accessibility and convenience. And nowadays, everyone has their phone with them, so it's perfect. This convenience can stretch out to wearable devices as well, which led to the invention of smart glasses. Smart glasses blend digital content with the physical world using light field technology and spatial computing capabilities, so users can interact with virtual elements in their environment seamlessly. There have been ongoing rumors that Apple will eventually release its own AR glasses, but nothing is confirmed yet and they just released the Vision Pro, so let's not presume things, but I gotta say, I personally do hope that they eventually release it. There's often confusion between augmented reality and mixed reality. There is a blurry line between them, but it's easier to understand if you think that the main difference of the two is that mixed reality involves spatial computing. Spatial computing uses technology to interact with the physical world, creating immersive digital experiences. It uses sensors, cameras, and algorithms to detect depth, distance, and geometry. Newer headsets like MetaQuest 3 or Apple Vision Pro use advanced spatial mapping to create detailed representations of the user's surroundings. They detect physical objects and surfaces in real time, which is pretty cool. 
Additionally, the version after iPhone 12 Pro family and iPad Pro um, Vision Pro feature LiDAR scanner, which enhances XR capabilities. Vision Pro also uses advanced rendering techniques to create realistic lighting and reflections in mixed reality environments, making scenes appear more lifelike. Imagine the transformative potential of MR for entertainment, design, training, and collaboration. And imagine the endless possibilities with this tech across the different industries. That's why products like Apple Vision Pro get so much attention. One of the examples is the partnership between CAE Healthcare and Microsoft HoloLens, which resulted in the creation of a platform called Vimedix AR. This platform allows for more sophisticated surgical simulations. Vimedix AR overlays virtual anatomy models onto physical ultrasound probes, providing realistic training scenarios for medical professionals, boosting diagnostic accuracy. Similarly, Touch Surgery offers interactive surgical training with AR and VR simulations too. Surgeons can practice and refine their skills in a virtual environment before performing procedures on actual patients, which would lead to better surgical outcomes and safety. Another medical example is AccuVein. It's an AR device helping healthcare professional visualize veins beneath the skin by projecting near-infrared light onto the skin and creating a real-time map of veins. This device is particularly useful for patients with difficult to access veins. I've been teaching K-12 students for a while now, and as someone who's deeply involved in education field, I have high hopes for the technology as a great learning tool. Apps like Physics Lab AR and GeoGebra AR have great potential to enhance the learning experience. I mean, I wish I had access to this technology and tools when I was younger. As a child, I struggled with math so much because I had very hard time visualizing complex equations in my mind. Another famous example is Google Expeditions AR. It enables exploring historical landmarks and culture sites in your room through augmented reality. Apps like Nano and Solar enable us to explore and immerse ourselves in the worlds we never thought we would be able to explore, from the nanoscale to the extraterrestrial solar system. Puzzling Places and Zig Space are another good examples of immersive experience too. Besides the examples I just showed you, MR technology can be used in so many other fields such as retail and e-commerce, architecture and real estate, historical and geographic recreations, and more. Last summer, I had the opportunity to attend SeaGraph, a VR conference that was held in LA. I got to see a lot of exciting research projects, experiments, and innovations AR VR technology. And it was truly inspiring to witness the dedication and talent of the individuals using such technologies too. I think the use of AR and VR technology will only continue to expand in the coming years. And I can't wait to learn more about the ways it will improve our lives. Personally, it blows my mind that stuff that I saw in the futuristic sci-fi films as a kid will slowly become real experience eventually. Now, I know there's some not so actually, a lot of controversy over the new release of Sora, the AI video generator, and a lot of concerns about the dystopian implications. I can totally understand why people are so concerned about that technology. I mean, I studied motion graphics myself too, so I definitely felt like, oh shit, that's crazy, that's amazing, but also crazy. <laughs> but in my view, I think every new technology comes with its own sets of pros and cons. Ultimately, I believe it's such a powerful tool that can greatly enhance our lifestyles in our long run. And that's exactly why I focused on introducing some real life examples and use cases of those technologies in this video. In my opinion, I think those technologies will continue to get refined and integrated into more aspects in our lives. And with further enhancements in hardware and continued innovation, I can envision a future where AR, VR, MR technologies seamlessly enriches our lives in many ways. 
Okay, thank you so much for watching my video. Your likes and comments keep me going, and I really appreciate all your supports. I would love to hear your thoughts about VR, AR, MR tech, or the new Apple Vision Pro. What do you think about them? Do you like them, or are you still not sure about them, or concerned? I'm so curious. Okay, then I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Let me know if this video was helpful. If so, please give it a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more tech and VR related videos like this.